What's going on, y'all? It's Claude. You're checking me out again at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Claude again, Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. I'm in Bridgeport today, and I'm actually going to swing over to Boston Avenue because Burger King is introducing their Italian original chicken sandwich. Never had it a day in my life. I know it was a menu item that they had back in the day or a while ago. And I got time today, and I'm hungry, and I don't want a lot to eat, but I want to try the sandwich. I want to find out if it's good. We do know that there's certain things in moderation you guys need to watch out for, like sodium and other little stuff like that. But we're adults, guys. We're adults. I don't think at this point you need me or anyone else beating you in the head with facts as far as what's going on with sodium intake and sugar content and stuff like that. I'm actually here for the video today, and I don't want to sit there and be a Debbie Downer on a Wednesday. So let me go ahead and brighten things up with my personal opinions and my personal personality. In either case, let me swing over real quick to Burger King, find out what's going on with the sandwich because I'm curious, is it any good? Would I recommend it to you? And as usual, very real review time. You ready? Let's get started. Try your Italian original chicken sandwich. All right. Would you like the meal or just the sandwich? Uh, just the sandwich, and if I can, I need a small ginger ale. I have Sprite. Um, yeah, Sprite's fine. Anything else? That's all. All right, Sprite. Oh, thanks. I want to start this part of my review off by doing a few disclaimers. Number one, I don't drink soda often. That's why in the drive-thru I actually ask for ginger ale because if I drink any kind of soda, it's usually ginger ale. Second option is something like a Sprite or something along those lines. Never a dark soda, always clear soda. That's just my personal preference. Number two. If you were to go in my kitchen at home right now and look in it, you would not find any salt. Why? I don't even use salt for cooking, seasoning my food, or anything. So I guess I'm more sodium sensitive. I say that to say this. 
I had high hopes for the sandwich. I really did. This is the Italian original chicken sandwich. I was going to throw cheese on it, but it actually already comes with cheese, obviously. And I'm glad I didn't because it came with mozzarella. It came with marinara. And then, of course, you get the chicken breast, right? It's a flat chicken breast. It's breaded. It's seasoned. And it's seasoned nicely. The thing is, somebody just opened up a salt shaker and dumped it on it. Like a salt shaker, do it like a salt shaker, do it like a salt shaker. They just poured tons of salt on this thing. So I'm thinking like I'm drinking something that has seawater in it. Did you guys put seawater in my sandwich? Because that's what exactly what this tastes like. From the marinara, very salty. The cheese, extremely salty. And then even the chicken. I even tried to give it a second chance and pull the chicken off of the sandwich and kind of wipe it off a little bit and just try the chicken by itself. No, still very salty. So Burger King, I don't know if you guys actually use salt, a lot of salt in this sandwich or not. Or maybe I'm just sensitive because I don't really use a lot of salt. But this one was extremely salty. Now, that's not to say it couldn't be a good sandwich. Maybe somebody messed up on it. I don't know. But my review today is going to be based on my experience on this sandwich. Again, Burger King, this is your Italian original chicken sandwich. I'm going with a 3 out of 10 on the Burger King Italian original chicken sandwich. Way too salty for me. It didn't really taste good. I didn't want salt all day. And honestly, I I'm done, man. As you see, I had to throw the sandwich out. I just wasted $6. And you could do a 2 for 10 menu if you want. And that's cool. But I just wasted $6 and change on this sandwich because I won't eat it. Now I got to go find something else to eat that's probably healthier than what this was. I don't like when I don't get a good meal or good food. Oh, that makes me mad. The other thing that I had here today was obviously my trusty small ginger ale. Guys, ginger ale was fine. <laughs> it was probably for a dollar the best part of my meal just now. The ginger ale from Burger King. I'm done. I'm going to get up out of here. Guys, if you like the videos, do me a favor. Click subscribe. Turn notifications on. That way you get them when I drop them. Mondays, Fridays, 12 noon, Eastern Standard. During the week as time permits, Wednesdays or Thursdays more than likely. And once again, this is Claude at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Newsbreak. I'm around for all the good food and flavors. If it has good flavor, I'm around for it. Not like this one. Burger King, honestly, I'm ashamed. <laughs> Actually, I've gone through that drive through to get this sandwich the way I did. <sighs> Can't win them all, I guess. Can't win them all, huh? In either case, guys, let me get up out of here. You be cooler than the other side of the pillow. I'll talk to you next time.